Cressida Bonus, making her theater debut, has reunited with her scrunchie. After taking a page out of the Kate Middleton playbook and going out for a night on the town with princesses underscore underscore Beatrice underscore underscore and Eugenie, dressed in a decidedly glamorous sleek blue grown, underscore underscore Cressida Bonus underscore underscore is continuing to raise her profile after splitting with Prince Harry. After weathering the initial breakup blues, Bonus reportedly took a compassionate leave from her office job. Bonus is now at work on a new play, taking a role in a production of There's a Monster in the Lake at Hay on Wai, which is set to run from May 30th to July 19th. While she has generally been billed in the press as a former dancer, Bonus studied drama at Leeds University and had a small cameo on the 2009 ITV program Trinity as a cheerleader with a penchant for superhero-inspired apparel. Bonus was snapped by a photographer rehearsing for her role in There's a Monster in the Lake, which is about an elderly man who goes missing from a rehab center, and can also be seen in a production photo of the cast. In both images, Bonus is wearing her trademark, New York Times, heralded scrunchie, which Bonus had seemed to eschew for the latter part of her relationship with Harry. Will Harry come see her in the show? What are we meant to read into the return of the scrunchie? Is there a literal monster in the play who snatches up the elderly man or is it just a metaphor, and the monster is, like, time or whatever? Meanwhile, while we all contemplate these questions, how do we think Harry and Cressida's latest text exchange went down? Harry, hey saw you are gonna be in a play Harry, congrats. An hour passes. Harry, Cressida? Harry, or should I call you Angelina Jolie now? Cressida, sorry, at rehearsal, can't talk. Cressida, so much going on Harry, K Harry, I'm eating a really good burrito right now by the way two hours pass. Harry, so should I come see the show? Harry, is it good? Cressida, no, it's terrible Harry, oh, never mind then Cressida, I was joking, weirdo. Cressida, why would I do a show if I thought it was terrible? Harry, sorry sorry Harry. You know I'm bad at sarcasm lol 3 hours pass. Harry, I see you are wearing the scrunchie again Cressida, I'm doing a lot of things again Harry, sad face. Cressida, one of the actors just came in Cressida, were ABT to head out to go karaoke an hour passes. Cressida, not gonna lee, watched two episodes of Wanna Marry Harry last night Cressida, I was missing you I guess Cressida. OMG I'm drunk and just did wrecking ball at Carrick Meghan slammed for undermining royal family as Prince Harry Mulls flying to the UK without government security. Royal watcher Amanda Matta has revealed that it took Buckingham Palace two years to address Andrew's alleged transgressions seriously despite their swift and exhaustive retribution against Prince Harry who married Meghan Markle, an outspoken black American woman. The royal family will only be proactive in doling out consequences for those it sees as seriously undermining their image, Mata, who uploads educational content about the royal family on TikTok, said. She currently has at least 612,000 followers. They didn't take the allegations about Andrew as seriously as they took Harry and Meghan's departure. Until it became clear that Andrew's behavior wasn't able to be swept under the rug, the royal expert added per insider. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their step back from royal duties in January 2020, citing financial independence as the reason. Later that year, the Sussexes stopped using their HRH titles as the Queen removed their royal patronages and military titles in January equals Y 2021. Two years later, the palace moved to oust the Duke of York the same way it did Harry and Meghan. Although Prince Andrew stepped back from royal life in November 2019 before the Sussexes, his royal privileges were only removed a year after Harry and Markle's. Earlier this year, Andrew was stripped of royal patronages and military titles after he was faced with a sexual assault lawsuit from Virginia Jufri, Al Jazeera.